Hello again, my name is Jean. I'm the owner and designer for Planet Pinup, a little Etsy shop that sells hair accessories, such as flowers, headbands, and what we'll talk about today is snoods. Say perhaps you bought a snood online from me or another wonderful Etsy seller, and it came with a drawstring closure like this, but you really prefer an elastic closure. They're very, very easy to change. So imagine there's one maybe you fell in love with on another website, but it comes with a drawstring and you like elastic, buy it anyway, and you can change it yourself. It's super easy. I'll show you how right now. So first what you need to do is remove the yarn from the snood, okay? For the ones I make for Planet Pinup, they're very loosely just sort of basted through with a running stitch right along the edge of the top of the snood. So it should be very easy to pull out. I don't anchor them because I want them to slide nicely when you want to make it tighter or looser. So just take one end and commence pulling. I'll pull it all the way out. You might have to just sort of let the snood catch up a little bit. Some yarns slide super smoothly. This is a kind of a funny yarn that uh, it's a little bit of a more bumpy texture, so it doesn't pull as smoothly, but it's still no problem. So you have a nice piece of string for you know, tie it around your neck, tie it around your hair, throw it in the trash, give it to your cat. Don't give it to your cat unless you tie a nice knot because they could swallow it. Okay, set aside for future use. Uh, what you'll need to put it back together, this is elastic thread. You can, it's stretchy. So you'll find this in the Notions aisle at your favorite fabric store, Joanne Michaels, uh, Hobby Lobby, sometimes even um, bigger stores that have a little craft department might have it also. So uh, just ask for the elastic thread. It comes in usually only black and white. So we use white for this snood because it's the closest match. What you'll also need is a somewhat large needle. Uh, you don't want anything too sharp. This is a yarn needle. You would also find this either in the notion section or you would find it where they sell the other hand sewing needles for embroidery, for cross stitch. It's usually right next to the yarn department. So <clears throat> You can use a smaller one, but for these, they kind of tend to go through the center of the yarn if it's too small, so I still like to use a big one. So you take your elastic thread. The end will get these little sort of springs on it, and you don't want to bother with those. So you make a little bit of a loop, and then squeeze that right through the eye of your needle. Since you have a nice big eye on a yarn needle, should not be any problem. Next, so you want to leave that attached to your spool. Don't cut it until you're done. Okay. And then it'll fall off your ironing board also if you're not careful. <laughs> okay, so looking at the top or the edge of your um, snood here, the top of it will have sort of little loopy holes. And if it doesn't have that and the particular brand of snood you bought, you should still be okay. You just want to get as close to the edge as possible because otherwise it'll have kind of a little lip on the edge. So we're going to go right along the very edge. Just pick any spot. It doesn't matter where you start. And dive your needle right into the top edge. Uh, I like to try to hit just about every loop on top along the edge. Now see I'm not pulling it through each single time that I go through one of the holes along the edge. I'll let my yarn or my needle fill up so to speak. And once I can't really hold on to the needle anymore I'll pull it through. It does not need to be precise. Don't worry about it too much. This is not brain surgery. It's just a snood. If you miss a stitch, no big whoop. So pull it through. Uh, kind of guesstimate how much you'll want. This is, I've sort of run along the edge of the snoon. I'm going to pull it back so you can see better. Um, there, that's a little easier to see. This is not going to really be enough. I want it to almost go around the perimeter. You want to leave enough to tie a knot against the other end. Um, but you don't want to have too much and waste it because elastic thread's not, it's, it's not expensive, but it's not exactly cheap either. 
So, I'm going to pull it through, sort of guesstimate how much you'll want. For this one, I would say I'm about 10 inches, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Kind of sometimes depends on how much uh, elastic thread you have left. So you keep on just pushing it through, nice and easy. With a tighter yarn or a smaller, um, the thinner yarns, you'll the holes will be a lot easier to see. However, um, with this one, you can make more mistakes and they won't show. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter either way. So if you can't see it well enough when you're doing it, then no one will be able to see it when you're done either. So it's not something to worry about a whole lot. So I keep on weaving it through, almost halfway done already. I keep on going here. Whoops, every time your needle gets full, pull it on through. Give it a little tug. You don't want it to be really tight because as you can see, this elastic is pretty thin and it'll break if you pull it way too hard. So just give it a little tug. You don't want it to fit really tight anyway. You want it to be comfortable and loose enough to hold all your hair. And if it's a little bit loose on the hair, you can always tighten it up with bobby pins. But um, if it's too tight, the, yarn, the uh, elastic is just going to break. So better to be too loose than too tight. Going on through again. Sometimes you might want to give the other end a little tug to make sure that you don't have a giant loose spot among all the uh, spots that are a little bit tighter. Sure, I'm not missing too much here, showing you the wrong way. See, you're going along just like me, right? You got your snood in your hand. You're weaving the yarn along the edge. And your elastic thread along your yarn edge, I should say. You know what I mean. You've played with yarn before, right? Or you haven't, and you don't know what I mean, and you don't know that I'm messing things up left and right. Not messing up the work, just my words. All right, we are so close here. So we're gonna go right up to the edge where the elastic started. Um, you can bring it right through the same hole if you want to. It really won't show either way. You can go to the hole next to it, oh, especially with a nice fluffy yarn like this. Okay, so both ends are pulled through the same end, this little hole in the yarn. Take your needle off. I'll, I'll tilt this down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. We're just going to tie a knot. Double knot, actually. There's one knot, just a little tug. Remember, you, you don't want to go too tight on the elastic, but you do want to have a nice tight knot. Then double knot, there you go. Take your favorite pair of scissors. I use this really small set of embroidery scissors, but you can use any for this, it doesn't really matter. Snip it off. If you don't cut it off until you're at the very end, then you save some more of your elastic and you just have this much left to throw away. Snood is all elasticed up. I'm going to put it on. All you do. Some people like to wear it like this, but that's not really snood. That's kind of a hat. I prefer to set it right about the back of my part. Then Throw a bobby pin up there so it'll stay in place. And this hair is a bit unruly. I just set it in rollers this afternoon. So, bobby pin the sides back a little bit. And then we take the hair, twist it up, throw it into the snood. On both sides. I missed a spot. Okay. Then you arrange your hair however you like. You add a few extra bobby pins. Then you snooze on. Comes with a flower clip. And attach that clip. And you're nice and secure. I'm ready to head out. 
If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll address them as well as I can. Feel free to visit my shop at Planet Pinup for lots of snoods and other cute hair accessories. And uh, leave me your custom requests too if you'd like. Thanks for watching.